Harpoon Medical is a development stage medical device company commercializing products for minimally invasive mitral valve repair. With the Harpoon device, surgeons can perform beating heart mitral valve repair. Unlike traditional open heart operations, which require the surgeon to make a large incision, divide the breastbone, put the patient on the heart lung machine, stop the heart, and manipulate the aorta, the Harpoon procedure accesses the beating heart via a small incision on the left side of the chest without cardiopulmonary bypass or cardiac arrest. Here, you can see a patient suffering from degenerative mitral valve regurgitation with posterior leaflet prolapse. Every time the heart contracts, blood flows backwards through the abnormal valve into the left atrium. During the harpoon procedure, a small introducer valve is inserted into the left ventricle 2 to 3 centimeters from the apex of the heart just below the papillary muscle, providing secure hemostasis for the procedure. The device is inserted into the heart via the introducer valve and using transesophageal echocardiographic guidance is navigated into place on the mitral valve leaflet. The tip of the harpoon device stabilizes the mitral leaflet. When the proper positioning is confirmed with echocardiography, the operator activates the harpoon device by depressing the plunger on the device. A needle tightly wrapped with a preformed EPTFE bulky knot is rapidly advanced through the leaflet and withdrawn in less than one second. The bulky knot is deployed on the atrial surface of the targeted mitral valve leaflet. The device is then removed from the body, leaving only an EPTFE suture secured to the mitral leaflet with a bulky knot and passing out the heart through the introducer. If necessary, this procedure can be repeated multiple times via the same introducer valve. Once the appropriate number of sutures have been inserted, the introducer is removed and the purse string suture is tightened. All EPTFE neocords are progressively tensioned using transesophageal echocardiographic guidance. When the sutures are properly tensioned, it restores the natural area of co-optation between the posterior and anterior leaflets and eliminates MR. Once the optimal length of the neocords has been confirmed under echo guidance, the free end of all the sutures are secured to the outside surface of the heart using a small square of Teflon felt.